everyone, I'm Form BX257 here to bring you one of my most requested videos, my personal tips on how to start a G.I. Joe collection. Now, my first tip is ask yourself seriously, what is your hobby budget? The amount of money you set aside should determine what you buy, not the other way around. If you're just casually collecting loose or incomplete figures, vehicles, and playsets, you won't spend much. Unless you wish to buy multiples of those items, that's called army building, then it can be quite expensive. You will spend more for complete items in top condition. It will be up to you to determine whether the completeness matters to you. You may also want to collect the items with the original card or box, or even toys still sealed in the card or in the box. But this will raise the expense exponentially higher. So plan how much you can spend and stick to that plan. Now my second tip is to determine what kind of collection you want. There are four types, I would say, and you can always upgrade into something more complicated, which of course would include more money or downgrade, which would include selling off some stuff. The first type of collecting is a personal favorites collection. Collecting the more recognizable characters or iconic vehicles and playsets is definitely easiest since you may not have to do as much research on them. Whether they are complete with all accessories also becomes optional, unless the missing accessory is part of the toy's character. The second type of collection is a childhood collection. If you wish to collect the exact toys you had as a kid, the amount you spend will be directly linked to how many you had and whether or not any of those items are now rare or valuable. Most likely you will want to have those toys complete and in the best condition. The third type of collection is a rare or variant collection. If you're concentrating only on toys that are hard to find and extremely popular among other collectors, then the values paid will be high. Another offshoot of this type of collecting is finding variations of one type of toy. This may or may not be an expensive way to collect. It depends on how many variations there are and whether those variations are valuable. And finally, there is a complete series collection. Probably the most expensive way to collect is buying everything produced within a series year or several series years. Tip number three is how to identify what toys you're looking for and what the current market values on them are. The easiest way to get an idea of what you're looking for is to get some original catalogs and inserts from the years you want to collect. They're generally inexpensive and small enough to keep in your pocket if you're going to flea markets or toy shows. However, for a more in-depth part-by-part listing of toys, you're going to need a guide book, like Mark Belomo's Ultimate Guide to G.I. Joe's or James Kavanaugh's G.I. Joe Guide. Or look at online toy archives like Yo Joe or Half Battle. Finding current values is a little tougher since they always seem to be in flux. Toy collector magazines like Toy Fair and Lee's Toy Review have values and many forum members who trade regularly or have a shop themselves will tell you what items are currently worth. If you're going to use an online source like eBay, make sure you check completed auctions for values and not opening bid asking prices as they can ask for the moon if they want. Tip number four is where to find old G.I. Joes to buy and trade. I highly recommend finding local toy shows or flea markets or toy conventions or even comic shops so you can really see what you're getting. You should also get, again, Mark Belomo's Ultimate Guide to G.I. Joes or James Kavanaugh's G.I. Joe Guide or similar identification book to carry with you. On occasion, I've shown pages to toy dealers and com comic shop owners to see if they have anything similar 
in their back room or storage warehouse. Joining a G.I. Joe collecting forum like Yo Joe or Joe Canuck is also a great way to buy or trade with fellow collectors in your area and even worldwide if you want to collect foreign versions. The forums are also sponsored by trustworthy online toy stores. There is also Craigslist and Kijiji, but I would only recommend a seller who lets you see the items in person rather than shipping only. Finally, eBay is an option as long as you look at good quality photos, watch the shipping fees, and buy from a seller who's been in business for a few years and sells GI Joes regularly. Tip number five is watch out for fakes. If you want to get some of the rarer items out there, do your research first. Most G.I. Joe figures and vehicles are rare or valuable because of some easily lost or broken part. It has become very easy to make high quality reproduction parts recently, and some sellers, who make them, do list them as custom or reproduction parts. But it's always best to check with knowledgeable collectors on forums there are already many threads dealing with this before you buy. Tip number six is Reduce costs by buying fixer-uppers. If you are good with tools or a model kit brush, then chances are you can get a played with figure and replace rusted screws or touch up minor paint rubs. Even figures that are discolored can be brought back to life with hydrogen peroxide and some care. Large, expensive vehicles and playsets that come with many small parts can be had for much cheaper if you buy them nearly complete. Just check beforehand which parts normally surface by themselves at online toy shops, forum trading threads, or eBay to ensure that you actually can complete them eventually. Tip number seven is be patient. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. And if it's outside of your budget, then just walk away. The toy collecting aftermarket is going to be here for a very long time and newly discovered finds from grandma's attic pop up regularly. And finally tip number eight is have fun. It doesn't take much to turn a occasional hobby collection into a contest to see who has the most rare or valuable things. Remember, there's a whole toy collecting community out there for you to share with. So please do share. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful to anybody just starting out their G.I. Joe toy collection, or in fact, any collectible hobby. That's all the time I have for right now, so I'll see you next week. Thank you.